Hello and welcome. In this video, we are solving one more example based on a Z parameters or we can say open circuit impedance parameters of a two port network. This is an example. Find the Z parameter for the network shown. And this is the network which include register and inductor. If you check the previous video, within that we have solved example to find out Z parameter and that is this network. In this network all the elements are registered. And now we are solving the network which include resistance and inductors. We know that Z parameters means we are expressing V1 and V2 in the form of I1 and I2. For that we know that in the previous example we have applied KVL to the different mesh. So mesh 1, mesh 2 and mesh 3. In this network which include register and inductor when we apply the KVL to this mesh we know that voltage across resistance is V is equal to I into R but voltage across inductor VL is L di by dt and your mesh equation will become V1 is equal to 1 I1 voltage across resistance and L di by dt. The current flows through this inductor is I1 and I2 that is I1 minus I2. That's why the voltage across this inductor is L1 di by dt. I is I1 minus I2. That's why d by dt of I1 minus I2. And it is very difficult to solve this because to find Z parameter we want to express V1 as a function of I1 and I2 and it is very difficult to put the value of I3 here and then solve it so that V1 can be expressed as a I1 and I2. For this reason this type of network which include register or inductor energy storing element what we are doing we are first representing this network in a transformed form that means first we are taking the Laplace transform and then we can apply KVL or KCL in a simple way. So in a transform form or in a frequency domain this inductor can be represented as a LS instead of LS, L is the value of this inductor and S, S domain that is the Laplace transform we need to take for this equation. Voltage across inductor is L di by dt and we know the Laplace transform of differentiation is it is L S variable is I S I of S minus I of 0 minus it is a constant value and it is called as an initial state but here in this type of examples for two port network we are not considering initial state we are assuming it as a zero that's why the voltage across inductor is l s i of s so whenever we are taking the transform the inductor can be represented as a l s where l is the value of inductor and s is the transform domain similarly for capacitor voltage across capacitor is 1 upon c integration of i of t dt if capacitor is included in your network you need to check the laplace transform of this integration and it is 1 upon c is constant as it is and laplace transform integration is 1 upon s i of s that's why whenever you will find capacitor in your network, you have to transform it as a 1 upon CS. Inductor replaced as a LS. Capacitor replaced as a 1 upon CS. Now let's take the transform of our network. For inductor, you have to replace this inductor as a LS where L is the value of this inductor. Suppose it is 2H. Here in a transform domain it is 2S. Similarly capacitor of value C you have to replace it as a 
1 upon cs in a transform domain now let's take transform domain of our network so this is a transform domain register as it is variables as it is one one is the value of this inductor that is l so it is ls so 1s similarly here 1s ls is the transform form of the inductor now here it is very easy to apply kvl to get the z parameter for loop 1 loop 2 and loop 3 let's see this is our network we are applying first kvl to the loop 1 to get the z parameter z parameter means v1 and v2 we are expressing as i1 and i2 we know the standard equations for the z parameter v1 is equal to z11 i1 and z12 i2 similarly v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 apply kvl v1 is equal to 1 i1 and here this value is s 1s so 1 there is no need to write s current through this inductor is i1 minus i3 i1 and i2 in opposite direction that's why i1 minus i2 so this is v1 combine the i1 terms you will get v1 is equal to 1 plus s i1 minus s i3 now apply kvl to loop 2 it is v2 is equal to current this inductor is i2 plus i3 both are in a same direction and value is l is 1 s so v2 is equal to s i2 plus i3 why plus because i2 and i3 are in a same direction so this is our second equation now apply kvl to the loop 3 s current in this inductor is l i3 minus i1 so s i3 minus i1 here plus i3 and plus current in this inductor is i1 sorry i2 plus i3 so s into i2 plus i3 solve this and find i3 is equal to why because we want to express v1 and v2 in terms of i1 and i2 so we have to replace this i3 and how we can replace from equation 3 this is our equation 3 let's see this is equation 1 2 and 3 now we have to put this i3 in both the equation so that we will get the equation to compare with the standard z parameter equation so first we will put i3 in the equation 1 let's combine the i1 term by solving these brackets this s will come inside s square upon 2s plus 1 i1 minus minus become plus s square upon 2s plus 1 i2 now combine i1 terms so that you will get this terms so this is the v1 in terms of i1 and i2 similarly you can substitute this i3 in a equation 2 so this is i3 solve this take as this inside and we can solve this combine the i2 terms and this will be the your v2 in terms of i1 and i2 now you can compare this equation and this equation with the standard z parameter equation v1 i1 and i2 so z11 is this term and z12 is this one similarly z21 is this term and z22 is this term so like this you can find your z parameter so this is in a matrix form in the previous video we saw the example which includes the only resistance here we have included resistor and inductor also when your circuit is only resistive it is simple you just apply kvl and adjust the term 
so that you can compare with the standard z parameter equation that is v1 and v2 you have to express in terms of i1 and i2 just rearranging the term same in case of network which include register or capacitor or inductor when there is a inductor and capacitor procedure is same only you need to convert this circuit into the transform domain into the s domain by taking laplace transform inductor in a transform domain and s domain is represented as a ls where l is the value of inductor it can be 2h 3h so when it is 3h in a transform domain it is 3s similarly capacitor if capacitor is 2 microfarad value in a transform domain it becomes 1 upon cs means 1 upon 2 microfarad into s cs like this whenever there is an energy storing element like inductor capacitor you just take the transform form and then your usual method to get the z parameter that is apply kvl and adjust the equation such that v1 and v2 can be expressed in terms of i1 and i2 and you can compare this equation with the standard z parameter equations to get the z parameter. So these are our z parameter. Thank you.